Hey, paper dolls, it's Madeline. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So, I am so excited. Um, I have just finished nine journals just in time for Mother's Day, but I was really inspired by these vintage sheets to create some really nice, um, easy to use, easy to throw in your bag journals full of vintage items. So, let's do a quick flip through. We'll go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go through uh, the first one a little bit slower than the rest of them, um, just so you can see um, all the detail and then the others will go through a little quicker, okay? So here's the first one. We've got some crochet here on the spine. Okay, let me get a, a ruler and give you a measurement. They are all the same size. Okay, so this is about eight, eight and three fourths by about six. And like I said, vintage sheet, all the closures have an eyelet closure, okay? So let's go ahead and open her up. Each one of these has two signatures, 80 pages, all right? And when you first open her up, I've got a picture, this is from one of my vintage botanical books, of a flower here, okay? This one is a begonia. I had to write the names on the back so I wouldn't forget. And when I go to do the listing, it's gonna have the journal and then the flower, and this is gonna be begonia, okay? So we'll open up. Like I said, the outside is vintage sheet. The inside, I have something lying different on the insides. This one happens to be um, eyelet fabric here. In the front, I've done a really pretty collaged pocket on all of them. I've also done a tag that has some of the vintage fabric for the pull right here, okay? Now let's get started with the flip through. We've got vintage botanical page lace, first pocket. I did a big fabric master board and made bookmarks to go with each one. Coffee dyed paper, kind of like craft thin paper. This is paper from a vintage, um, this is like a vintage um, receipt page from a shop I got in the state sale. Pretty trim here. We've got some goodies in the pockets. This is a vintage from a vintage book about herbs. This is a little vintage cluster I put together for a tab. Time card, and I did a little collage here at the top just to give some interest. Tab, fabric tab, and this has got a vintage blue chip stamp and then some dangle right there. Here I did uh, a tag, again, another cluster for the pull. And this is a page from a, a vintage, this is cool, a vintage calendar. I just thought that would be so fun to do some extra journaling on. More lace. Lace here, and then I did another journaling card with a little cluster there in the corner. Okay, that was the first signature. Second signature, they have a pocket in the front with some sort of lace, and then I have a vintage pre-postage stamped postcard, not used, okay? And then on the inside here, I have one of my pockets tucked, and I have a vintage playing card, um, a guest check, and another um, journaling card that has a vintage green stamp right there as part of the decoration. I really went through and got all of my vintage stamps out because um, I just thought they would look so awesome with uh, the style of these journals. Here, we've got another fabric tag with a dangle. This is a vintage dictionary page. Tracing paper. Um, right here is a, um, 
an edge decoration here and I made a lot of these and they were really, really fun. You can see their stitch. It's just a lot of layered elements on there. Okay, some more lace here. And then in the back, I have got um, another guest check. And then this is a page from a green stamp book where you would actually collect your green stamps. I've tucked in here. And then this is a little journaling card I made. And this is actually a um, ration coupon from um, World War II. Is that not so cool? Vintage, authentic vintage, y'all. All my stamps in this book are authentic vintage. And then in the very back, I have this really pretty... Um, pocket that I sewed, put lace, and this really pretty rose sticker, and I have some vintage playing cards in here, and then I also have another little tuck, a little um, journaling card, and it has a vintage double D stamp on it right there, okay, and then that's the end of your journal, okay, so like I said, these are 80 pages, and I'm just going to kind of quick, more quickly go through uh, the rest of these. And of course, if you have any questions, you can feel free to message me. Again, I've got some decoration here on the spine. Really pretty closures. I went through and picked out, you know, a closure to go with each one. This one is the Forget Me Not. Forget Me Not journal. Okay. And then I'm just going to quickly go through so you guys can get a look on the insides. They are all similar, but um, all have different elements to them. This one, as you can see, is a lot of blues and purples. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous lace? Oh, wallpaper, I forgot to mention that's wallpaper. I love doing wallpaper for the beginning of my signatures. I just think it's so robust and really just helps, you know, keep the journal, you know, good and nice looking. And I'm going to try to point out the differences. Well, I mean, there are, they are all kind of different, but you know, the bigger differences. And you can see the inside of this one is lined with this really pretty cream lace. Okay. So this is the Forget Me Not. Okay. I have nine of these total, y'all. So you may want to pause and grab some coffee. <laughs> All right, here's this one. I just, oh, and look at this closure. Isn't that so pretty? Okay, and this one is the Snapdragon. Okay. And then we can see I've got some pink lace lining the inside of this one. And this one has got lots of blues and purples and pinks. Um, I really tried to coordinate everything on the inside with um, what, you know, with the outside, the main sheet fabric I did on the outside. Lots of botanicals really give it that kind of vintage vibe with new and authentic vintage materials on the inside. And there's your back pocket, and there's the back of that one, and that is Snapdragon. Okay, I'm going to have to go a little quicker. Um, let's see here. This one is Verbena. God, aren't these so pretty? I love this book. Okay, and you can see I've got the lace on the spine. Got the closure. Okay, on the inside of this one, I have um, some lace again, and then... Um, I really went through and spent a lot of time um, and a lot of thought into making uh, the decorations that I made for these journals. Um, I did use some printables. I think they're from uh, Shabby Dabby Doodah. And um, just kind of went through my stash like I always do and just found things that uh, really spoke to me, you know, on the, for vintage, you know, to get that vintage vibe. And I really also enjoyed... Um, playing with all the color, you know, I go through phases of like monochromatic and, um, black and white, black and cream, but it was really fun just to incorporate a lot of color into these. Okay. So again, that one is your verbena. 
All right, moving along here. Isn't that pretty? I honestly, y'all, I wanted to keep one for myself, but I just can't pick a favorite. This is called Wallflower. I just, I could not, I can't pick a favorite. I just love them all so much. Okay, and this has got kind of a light peachy pink on the inside here. All right, and then that is Wallflower. Okay, moving along to this one here. Oh, isn't that so pretty? I just, oh, I just, I had so much fun with these. I really did. I've been working on these a while, too. Okay, this is Tulip. Um, look at this pretty, this big flower. Um, I really wanted to get these just right. I wanted this to be a really special um, journal collection, you know, for Mother's Day. A uh, gift for somebody else, a Mother's Day gift for yourself. Um, as most of you know, I'm a mom. I'm a firm believer in a Mother's Day gift for yourself. Um, you know, moms work hard out there. So pretty. And a lot of these things I did leave loose in here, so you can go back and staple glue, sew them in, you know, as you do your journaling or your layouts. Um, Okay, and there's the back, and I love the wallpaper on that one. Not so pretty. Okay, and that one is Tulip. And look at this pink one. Oh, and I've got some um, seam binding for the closure on this one. Okay, and then this one is your Petunia. And then, of course, I will wrap these beautifully before I send them out the door and include some little extras like I always do with my journals. Isn't that a pretty envelope? They just feel so good in the hand. And, you know, I love journals like this that are just... Isn't that pretty lace? So easy just to throw in your bag and use for travel. You know, summer's coming up. Um, you know, I have a journal. I just make lists in, <laughs> errands I need to run, things I need to buy at the grocery store or whatever. And, um, you know, this is just a really nice uh, journal for that. Okay, so this is Petunia. Okay, and then, look at, oh, look at this. I've just built up the stash and I was able to go through it. This is Narcissus and just grab some of my prettiest things to use on these. Okay, and here's the closure. All right, again, you've got your lace on the inside here. Oh, isn't this wallpaper so pretty with this lace on it? Isn't that gorgeous? With that embroidered lace pocket. Coffee dyed paper. I took my best pieces of coffee dyed paper. I had the prettiest transfers to use in these journals. Uh, I just wanted them to be a really, really special um, collection for Mother's Day this year. Okay, and so this is Narcissus. And then our last little love we got here. Isn't this so fun with all the pinks and uh, the oranges? I just love it. So this is Marigold. And these journals, I don't know if I mentioned this, they do come with this vintage, you know, page, um, botanical page. All right. I'll do the final flip. There's a close-up of the lace on the inside of that one. Very 
really pretty. Y'all look at that transfer. God, it's so pretty. All right. So by the time you guys are seeing this, these will be available in my shop. I will have all the links down below. And um, if you're a mom, whether it be a mom to a child, a fur baby, <laughs> a horse mama, whoever, um, everyone out there is a mama to somebody. So I wish everybody a very happy, healthy Mother's Day, and um, I will see you soon. Bye.